So, in amongst all the bad news we've been hearing over the past couple of weeks, there were some good tidings about Ethereum. That's right, it seems that we can apparently expect the merge, which is of course Ethereum's transition to proof of stake, to take place earlier than anticipated. The big day is now slated for August, quote, if everything goes to plan. Now this was announced at the permissionless conference a few days ago and when it does go ahead it will be a massive milestone for the whole Ethereum project. It won't mark the final completion of what used to be called Ethereum 2 because that comes with sharding which is expected next year but it will be historic nonetheless. So from the merge onwards, Ethereum will no longer run on a proof of work network and the implications of this are pretty damn huge. Now, you might be thinking, yeah, yeah, we've seen the merge delayed before, so what's to say everything will go to plan? And it's a good question as that caveat does kind of leave it open for the devs to put the brakes on it again. However, there is the small matter of the difficulty bomb to consider. Now, to those unfamiliar, the difficulty bomb is an incentive built into the Ethereum blockchain that is also set to go off in August. Now, if the difficulty bomb does go off, this will deliberately slow the network down and thus make it much less profitable for miners to continue mining Ethereum blocks. And basically, it's a not so subtle way of making the switch to proof of stake a no brainer and delaying the difficulty bomb would require another network upgrade. So it seems as if Ethereum's devs are confident that they can make the merge happen before boom time, in other words. Now, if this all sounds a little stressful to you, then spare a thought for Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin. He has more recently sounded a note of caution saying that there is, quote, a risk of delays to the proposed August merge. And the rather lacklustre price action of ETH might suggest that investors aren't holding their breaths either, though that could also be because the crypto market as a whole is looking somewhat the worse for wear recently. Not naming any names there, terror. So my two guay on all of this? Well, I'd say there's about a 70-30 chance the merge will go ahead in August. A lot will depend on how the rollout on the Ropston testnet goes in June, so we'll have a better idea then. Just bear in mind that Vitalik and the rest of the dev team will be desperate for the merge to go smoothly, so further delays can't be ruled out if potential problems become apparent. And hey, the old when ETH2 joke hasn't got old yet, has it?